Today, inside the Think Fast locker room, if you can find the matching pairs, then you've got what it takes to win cash and prizes worth over $1,900. But watch out, because somewhere inside lurks the ever-smelly red herring. Today, on the gold team, it's Peyton Peyton. And on the blue team, Millie and Brian. And they're here to play Think Fast. The game where the more sense you have, the more dollars you win. And now, before we bring out Skip Lackey, let me tell you a little bit more about me. Maybe that's not a good idea. Here he is, Skip Lackey! All right, welcome everybody to Think Fast. Thank you, Henry J., for that amazing introduction. Audience, how are we doing today? Okay, they sound like they're ready to have fun, and we hope you guys at home are ready to have a good time, too. You sitting right there, smile, have fun, okay. All right, uh, let's introduce our players on the blue team. We have Brian and Millie. <laughs> Brian loves to surf, skimboard, and skirp, and plays soccer. Uh, you got that S thing happening there, Brian. What is, uh, what is skirfing? Skirfing's where when you get pulled behind a boat, but you're actually surfing, but you're just hanging onto a rope. Oh, okay, that's a new one. I've never heard of that one. All right, great. Millie plays piano and soccer, and uh, she has does something interesting with her finger. What is that? You're double-jointed? What is that? Yeah. You take your fingers and... Oh, yuck. That is... Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I can't do that. Okay, that's our blue team. On the gold team, we have Tate and Peyton. All right, Tate likes to draw water and snow ski, plays football, and he's into kneeboarding, and he does an impression of somebody. Who is that? Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Okay, let's hear it. Hi, Lou. This is Kermit the Frog. Welcome to Think Fast. Okay, very good. <laughs> Peyton's getting the kick out of that. She's sitting here laughing. <sighs> okay, Peyton loves reading mysteries. She plays piano and basketball. And Peyton, what would you like to do when you get older? Be a teacher. A teacher? Well, that's a good thing to be. What grade? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. How come? I like to work with little kids. You like to work with little kids. Well, that's great. All right, let's hear it for our players. <laughs> this is how we play Think Fast. Our two teams are going to be competing in a series of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical skill. If they win an event, they earn cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes and face the ultimate challenge in the locker room! Okay, let's, take up, let's not take up any more time. Let's play our first event, which today is called Cafeteria. What we have here is we have a big grid over here, and one player from each team must answer questions by finding the food-related words hidden in our grid. The words can be found either, they can be found forward or backwards, diagonally, or up and down, okay? A correct answer, and their partner gets to come over here, take this little bucket, dip inside this gacky mess right here, and they'll take a big dip of that, and they'll stick it inside one of these tubes. As soon as they get to this mark, they win, all right? It's a team to get the most gack in the tube to that mark wins. Are you guys ready? All right, here's your first question. A bunch of veggies tossed and dressed. Find it up there. Blue, come on over here. Turn those letters around. A bunch of veggies tossed and dressed. Salad is correct. Come on around here. Get a big dip of that. Stick it right up in there. Whoa! Well, some of it spilled on the floor. That's okay. Very good. All right, it is gurgling on down there. All right, here's your next question. Take a slice of bread, pop it down, it comes up gold. Go ahead. Comes up brown. What is that? Uh, no, that's not the answer that we were looking for. Go ahead back there. Blue, do you guys know what it is? All right, come on over. Right, the correct answer that we were looking for was toast. Take a slice of bread, pop it down, it comes up brown. All right. Oh, it's going everywhere. Very good. All right, let's take a look at this, see if that fills it up. Doesn't look like it's going to do it on this time. Okay, here's your next one. Whether you like minestrone or chowder in a bowl or cup, this is a dish that warms you up. Gold. Okay, come on over here, Peyton. She thinks she knows. Turn the letters around. I don't know it. Three seconds. I'll try ham. No, ham is not correct. Blue, do you think you know what it is? Three seconds. 
Okay, the answer that we were looking for, something that warms you up, is soup. And let's see where that is. Uh, I know it's in here. There it is. I had to locate it. S O U N A P, right there. Okay, it's soup. Here's your next one. This juicy fruit is fuzzy on the outside and has a pit in the middle. This juicy fruit is fuzzy on the outside and has a pit in the middle. Okay, Peyton thinks she knows. She's running over there. That's right. She's not going to miss this one. A peach. Come on over there. Get a big dip of that. Oh. Stick it in there. Whoa. She does it messily, but very good. All right, here's your next one. The opposite of sweet. Okay, Peyton, come on over here. Whoa, be careful. Don't fall. Sour is the opposite of sweet. Very good. Get some of that. Whoa, she's throwing that stuff around there. Okay, here we go. This is what you dunk your chips in for extra flavor. What you dunk your chips in for extra flavor. Okay, Gold thinks they know. Come on, Peyton. Be careful there. Dip is correct. Very good. <laughs> Get another one. Does this do it? She's filling most of it on the floor there. Let's see if this one fills it up. It's getting close. Has to cross this line right there. Is it going to do it? Yes, it does. It hits right to the line. Very good. Gold team wins. Come on down here. All right, way to go. Very good, Peyton. You were being fast and maniacal about that. You just won 50 bucks, you get a shot at the brain bender. It's a close-up object. What we've done is we've taken a picture of something extremely close and makes it difficult to figure out what it is. Let's take a look at it and reveal that first piece. No, it's not me. Okay, do you have any idea what that is? No. No idea. That's okay. You still won 50 bucks for that, which means the gold it has 50. Blue's not on the board yet, but we're going to our next event with the ladies. Let's do it. This event is called Blockheads, and what we have here is we have two big grids with spinning blocks. Each block has three sides, and uh, what you guys have to do is spin around the blocks until you have a completed face in front of you. The first one to finish wins. Let's show the audience at home who we're looking for. Okay, you guys at home get a chance to see it. The people here, we don't have any idea what it is, but I'm going to tell you what you try to have to make. You have to make. It's a bug-eyed man. Okay? Are you ready? Think fast. Go to it. You're looking to make that bug-eyed man. Gold team is spinning away. I've got a good portion of it. The blue team is good, doing a good job too. They're finding it very quickly. This is a quick one. They're looking for that bug-eyed man. The gold win. The gold wins! Yeah, let's take a look at it and see what we're looking for. Come on over here, Peyton. All right, we're looking for a bug-eyed man. Yep, you got the whole thing. There are the eyes. He's bugging. All right, very good. You just won 50 bucks for that, and you get a shot at the brain mender. It's a close-up object. Let's take a look at it. Let's reveal the next piece. Is it uh, one of those wrench things, those big wrenches? Is it a wrench thing? No, it's not a wrench thing, but hey, that's okay. You still got 50 bucks for that, which means the score is now uh, gold 100. Blue's not on the board yet. We're going to our next event. Let's do it. Okay, this next event is called Behind the Teacher's Back. This is one of my favorites. I always love doing things behind the teacher's back. Shh. Oh, hi. Hi, Mrs. Prune Whip. Oh, How are you today? I'm fine. Mr. Skip, how are you? Oh, I'm very good. I hate when she does that. Um, would you mind if I spoke to your class for a second? Yes, no, 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 no. All right, thank you. All right, what we've got here is we have a couple of desks set up on our Think Fast stage with toilet paper and water to make spitballs, all right? Miss Prune Whip over here is going to be asking questions to each team, and while she's talking to one team, the other team has to dip, take that toilet paper, dip it inside the water, take those spit wads, and throw them up against this this uh this target right here and they have to get all inside this target okay it's the team with the most spitballs on the target that wins are you guys ready all right uh mrs prune whip thank you very much for letting me talk to your class they're all yours oh, thank you you're welcome what were the names of columbus's three ships i'll repeat it for you what were the names of columbus's three ships nina pinta santa maria oh, there where did the pilgrims first land when they came to America? Mayflower. I mean, Plymouth Rock. Very good. Who was the president of the United States during...
during the Civil War. For, uh, Lincoln. Very good. What is the name of our national anthem? Star Channel Br Banner. Very good. What TV series and series of feature film with the Starship Enterprise? Star Trek. Very good. Who invented the telephone? Benjamin Franklin. No. Thomas Edison. No. Who invented the telephone? Ring, ring. James Anderson. No. Next question. In what state is the city of Los Angeles? California. California. Very good. In what state is the Statue of Liberty? New York. York. Very good. In the story of the tortoise and the hare, what kind of animal is the hare? A bunny. A rabbit. Very good. How many pennies are the monetary equivalent of a five-dollar bill? Five hundred. Very good. And name the agent who goes by the number Devil Owned Seven. James Bond. Very good. And a famous scientific experiment. Okay. Yeah, time is up. Time is up. Mrs. Pruitt, thank you very much. You did a wonderful job at answering the questions, asking questions. Let's see how many we've got. All right. The, the gold had a bunch of them outside it, and the blue had a bunch. Almost hit the cameraman over there. Let's see. We see uh, blue has eight, gold has five. Blue wins. Come on over here. Come on over here. Millie and Brian, very good. Oh, just knocking over the chairs every which way. All right, very good. You guys just won uh, 50 bucks for that one, and you get a shot at the brain bender. Let's take a look. It's a close-up object. A hammer. Uh, is it a camera? No, it's not a camera, but that's okay. You just got 50 bucks for that event, which means the score is now gold 100. Blue's coming back. They've got 50. We've got all kinds of stuff coming back after these messages. Stay with us. Welcome back for more Think Fast. I want to remind everybody what the score is. Gold has 100, blue has 50. It's a tight game. Now all dollar values are doubled. Each event's now worth 100 bucks a piece. Let's play. This next event is called Common Letters. And what we have is I'm going to show you pairs of words that have certain letters in common. For instance, if I said rat and cat, they have an A and a T in common. That's two letters in common. Our, the answer would be two, okay? Buzz in as soon as you know the, uh, the answer, guys, all right? Here are your first pair of words. Buzz in as soon as you know how many letters they have in common. Blue. One. No, one is not correct. Gold. Two. Two is not correct. The answer that we were looking for was three. They have an I, an E, and an R in common. Okay, here's your next pair of words. Three. Gold. Three. Three is right. They have an F, an O, and an R in common. Very good. Let's go to our next set of words. Gold. One. One is right. They have a W in common. Let's go to our next set of words. Two. Gold. Two. Two is right. They have a T and an I. Three to O. Let's have our next set of words. Blue. Two. Two is not right. Three. Oh. Three is right. They have a D, an R, and an O in common. All right, here's your next set of words. How many letters do they have in common? Blue. Three. Three is right. An L, a U, and a C. And time is up. Gold had four. Blue had one. Gold wins. Come on down here. Come on down here. Come on over here. All right. Way to go. You did a good job. You won 100 bucks for that event. And you get a shot at the brain bender. It's a close-up object. Let's take a look at it. Pipe. Is it a pipe? No, it's not a pipe. That's okay. You still want 100 bucks, which means the score is now gold, 200. Blue's got 50. We're going to our next event. Let's do it. Our next event is called Flog, which of, score of, which of course is golf spelled backwards. And what we have here is we have uh, our players going to be shooting uh, uh, out on the links here on our miniature golf hole. And what we have to do is uh, they'll go over the hump, they'll go around the curly cue, and they'll come out that little tunnel right there and try to get it in the hole. All right? The first player to sink their ball wins. The only thing is their partner over here has to correctly identify a backwards word. So we'll start at the podium. 
buttons over here, and you guys buzz in as soon as you recognize the word. Let's show our first word. Humble. Gold is right. Humble. That's right. Go ahead, Tate. We're here with the Think Fast Open. Tate has picked a nine iron. He's he's chipping that away. It goes over the hump, around the curly cue. Where will it land? Yes, it's coming out. Ooh, ooh, very good shot. Very good. Okay, remember, wait until I say which one of you got it. You buzzed in. You got a little quick there. All right, here's your next word. Blue. Keyboard. Keyboard is correct. Go ahead there, Brian. Brian is taking his first shot. He's winding up. He gets a nice shot. Ooh, he has a little problem there. It hits the lump. It doesn't get over the hump. It's actually going back down the ramp. Okay. Let's go to our next word. Revolution. Blue. Revolution is correct. Go ahead, Brian. No, actually, Brian, you have to start from back here. You have to take your shot from there. Go ahead and set it down where it was. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let's put it right up here. Okay, judges, does that look okay? Yes, it does. All right, go ahead, Brian. He's taking his next shot. He's going around the curly cue. He actually, ooh, we hear a sigh from the audience. It gets hung up in the curly cue. Okay, let's go to our next word. As soon as you know what it is, blue. Notebook. Notebook is correct. Go ahead, Brian. Be careful not to step on that thing. Hit it around. Hit it around. Brian is trying to pick his best shot. He's got a little bit of an obstacle here. There he goes. He got a good, he got a good hook on it. Oh, yes, very good, but it goes up against the, the, the uh, bridge there. Let's go to our next one. Blue. Horses. Horses is correct. Go ahead, Brian. Brian's trying to putt out of the hole. He's, he gets a little chip shot there and centers it up. Very good. Let's go to our next one. Ocean. Blue. Ocean is correct. Brian's lining up for a good putt. Can he get it in the hole? Oh, it goes right off the lip. Very good. All right, let's go to our next one. Gold. Butterfly. Butterfly is not correct. Blue? Beautiful. Beautiful is correct. Go ahead, Brian. Brian's got another obstacle there. It's right up against the edge. Oh, he gives a good little chip shot, but goes about six inches. Not good enough. All right, here's your next one. What's that? What word is that? Blue. Life Lifeguard? Uh, lifeguard. No, uh, no, you had a first one. Gold? Lifeguard. Lifeguard is right. All right, go ahead. Come on, King. Ooh, right off the lip on his next shot. Okay, let's go to our next one. Blue. Obligation? Obligation is correct. We're now putting. Can Brian make it into the hole? Yes, he does! He makes it, Brian and Millie. Come on down here. Come on down here. You guys just won 100 bucks for that. Way to go. You've tightened up the score, and you get a shot at the brain bender. It's a close-up object. Let's take a look at it and reveal the next piece. A plug. Is it a plug? <laughs> yes, it is a plug. Very good. You guys just won $200, which means the score is now... Blue, 350. Gold's got 200. Blue's going to the locker room. Come on down here, guys. Come on over here. Right here. Come on down here. The gold team played a good one. You guys won 200 bucks. You get to split that money, and you get these great prizes that Henry J. is going to tell us about right now. Skip for the departing gold team. Put your golf skills to the test with Bandai Super Realistic Pebble Beach Challenge. Tee up on your Nintendo for 18 holes of great golf action from Bandai. And all our contestants take home their Converse sneakers. Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes from shooting hoops to just hanging out. The Converse Kids Collection is all you're ever going to need. Right, Skip? You betcha, Henry J. We're here with Brian and Millie. They've earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. After these messages, stay with us! We're in the locker room with Brian and Millie. They've earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. Here's how we play. Behind me, we have... 15 lockers, and inside those lockers, we have seven matching pairs. One, I will give you one minute on the time clock, and, and what you guys have to do is take turns making as many matches as possible, not a lot of time. A locker door will open up, and whoever or whatever pops out, you guys have to find the mate, okay? 
The first four matches are worth 100 bucks a piece. The next three are worth these great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. Brian and Millie, today's grand prize package includes from Sportcraft, the ultimate backyard croquet set featuring classic wooden mallets and a handsome carrying case. It's Sportcraft for all the games people play. But there's more. The outdoor fun and games can continue with the Coleman Sandy Beach Collection. Includes a Fiesta Cabana, Beach Toad Picnic Cooler, one gallon poly light jug, beverage cooler, and a three person inflatable boat from the Coleman Company. And Brian and Millie, if you make all seven matches, you're going to Palm Springs, California to the Oasis Water Resort Villa Hotel. 110 luxury villas minutes from shopping on Palm Canyon Drive with admission to beautiful Oasis Water Park. Good luck in the locker room. Okay, but you have to watch out because inside one of these lockers is the dreaded Red Herring. The Red Herring is a character that has no match at all. So if you think you guys have found him, run over here, yank on the Herring handle. It'll shut up the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching. Let's show the audience at home and remind them who the Stinkmeister is today. Okay, our audience at home gets to see who it is. All right, are you ready, Brian? Yes, sir. All right, he sounds ready. Let's open up a locker, see who he has to match. My brother, Danny, and I have enjoyed our stay on planet Earth, but now we must go home. You must find my match. Okay, you're looking for that other cone head. Are you ready? Let's put one minute on the time clock. Ready? Think fast, Brian. Go to it. Find that other cone head, Brian. Find that other cone head. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Lock it up, Brian. Lock it up. All right, Millie, go. Who are you looking for? You're looking for the Swiss cheese. The fish cheese. You're looking for that fish cheese. Come on, faster. Faster, Millie. Faster. Where is it? There it is. Lock it up. Lock it up. All right, go, Brian. Go. You're looking for the other uh, Florida. You're looking for the map of Florida. Where is it? Find it. There it is. Lock it up. Come on. Lock it up. All right, Millie, go. You're looking for it. Oh, okay. There it is. Who's the baby? You're looking for the baby. That's good. That was the red herring. Okay, go, Brian. You're looking for those other roaches. Find, find the roaches. Find them. Find them, Brian. Quicker. There it is. Lock it up. Go, Millie. Who are you looking for? You're looking for those, those mixed dogs. That's it, lock it up, lock it up. Go, who's he looking for? Oh, no, hey, you guys got, you got, uh, how many matches did they get? They got five matches, way to go, very good. You guys did a great job. Henry J, tell them what they won. Brian and Millie, congratulations. Each of you received $400 in cash, plus the Cambridge Croquet set, a prize package worth $530 each. Not bad. All right, way to go. You, what, you got a lot of money there? You got a great prize? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, out of breath, huh? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. yeah. All right, they sound like they had a good time. We hope you guys at home had a good time, too, watching it. Doing a great job. This is Skip Lackey, and we're coming to you from New... From Where are we? We're in Orlando, Florida, coming to you from our new Nickelodeon studios. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. is taped in front of a truly live audience at Nickelodeon Studios located at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.